Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearthstone 4 Kai's Vegas Greece. Let us continue on from the last set off. So, 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 so. The uh, Egyptians have started to go down the Cairo Pact. Or at least they, they did the, um, the Cairo Conference. So they're, they're, in, they're in the works. They're in the works of getting the, uh, the war against the Ottoman Empire going. Which is very, very, very important to us. Because if we want to take over some of this territory in the Ottoman Empire, we need to declare war on them. If the Ottoman Empire wins the war against uh, the Cairo Pact and is significantly more powerful, that is a direct threat against our interest. Uh, at which point we will need to probably recruit, let's say, the Entente or, or the Reich's Pact. I'm, I'm not too sure who Greece can actually join. They normally join the Entente, but they might be able to join the Reich's Pact. Either way, you're going to need some probably some outside assistance to help invade the Ottoman Empire in the case they win the war. If the Ottomans lose the war and is reduced down to just Turkey, we should be able to kill them off just by ourselves. Or if we just never leave the Belgrade Pact, hopefully get all uh, Serbia and Romania to join in the war with us, which would be nice. Maybe Albania too, I, I think they can join under certain circumstances. Well, at least I know that they can join Bulgaria in the war against all of us, which in that case would probably lead to them just kind of dying. But look at that. We actually have manpower now. A beautiful sight. Okay, second American Civil War has begun. We've been details, but our manpower is now fixed. Do you have the manpower you need? The answer is yes. And I believe we're already kind of hit our maximum. We'll deploy our new troop in Athens. It doesn't really matter, I guess, where we're deploying him. So let's take a look. Canada has sieged New England. Not a surprise. The PSA has taken over Nevada. The American Union State did get all of Texas and all the way up into uh, North Carolina here. The CSA does look pretty weak. They didn't take Minnesota or Iowa, which I believe they are able to start with. In fact, they didn't actually even take New York City. New York City did stay... Under the control of the United States. So I don't imagine a CSA victory here. Mostly just because they didn't really start off with that much territory. Compared to what they could have gotten. Elsewhere in the world we're looking at probably a Norway that is going to be joining up with the... I mean, you know what? International relations? I think because you've done democratic mandate you probably are not going to go for the workers victory. So I believe you should actually stay out of the Internationale. Finland's not going to join the Reich's Pact. Sweden still has a chance to join the Reich's Pact. But they're not going to be doing too much if Norway doesn't join in the war. Military build-up. Did you guys go with the... Um... I guess they did not go for the anarchist military policy. Which I feel is very much a mistake on your part. Free trade from decryption. Why am I, like, so good at decrypting shit? Like, I know basically everything about every country. I mean, even against the CSA, I, I, I know 50% of what they're doing. The Ottomans, we know 70%. I guess from their free trade, we know a lot. The plus 40% modifier just from that. But even against their army, if we have a 15% decryption... Bonus, I'm not too sure why we do. To be completely honest. Like, we don't have a, um... An intelligence agency yet. It's like we could maybe get one, but... Even then, I'm not too, too sure. They send you to, uh, Blue Army. We'll get our advance in mining. Next month, Serbia should be willing. 33 days. Yeah, so since they, since they're done investing in railroads, they should choose to do the Congress in Belgrade. But I think that the AI is kind of forced to choose this one. Not not forced to, but uh, it has high priority, I believe. Just like in France, there's high priority to uh, attack the Germans. With Alsace Lorraine as soon as they have the possibility to do so. So. 
Well, Gatorade is working with the Arsenal AED. It would be nice if Bulgaria could kind of just suck and die. That'd be nice. I don't know if they can really do that at all, but we shall see. And we are looking at about another, uh, another like three and a half months, give or take, until we're ready to kind of focus a little bit more on our military operations here. The Germany's Asia is definitely going to be defeating the Indo-Chinese Revolt. They've already lost Saigon, so they should more or less be kind of dead. Your Bahati Kami is actually doing a pretty aggressive early game here. We'll see if they actually just like immediately try to attack either the Dominion or the Princely Federation. Aside from that, nothing too crazy has happened. You guys can do the Cairo Pact now, which would probably benefit us. So I would recommend that you do it. And we're hoping, of course, that Romania does not have their civil war. But I think that really just weakens our side before we actually go to war with, uh, war with Bulgaria. If they have a civil war after the fact, that's fine. I don't care. We should be okay there. So you're 193 days from now. We have the basic fighters. We could go for the 1936, but I don't think we really have any factories building them right now. But you know what? Let's still go for it. Get it researched, so by the time we actually have, um... You know, we actually have enough infantry equipment for all of our troops right now. So I'm fine switching down to going to one into interwar fighters. Getting rubber is going to be... I was going to say it's going to be very difficult, but no, the Dutchies and these are, uh... Willing to trade with us. It sucks we're trading away one of our civilian factories for the rubber, but... We do kind of want to get the Air Force up and running in any capacity. Like, right now, we're not even building a plane a year. In fact, let's split this down here. 1.67 a month. Because if we have enough rifles, we should be okay. Read down the list a little bit. Because you're, you're 30% of the way done. How long does it take? It's number 8th. It's still a long-ass time. Nationalized industry is a plus 20%, yeah. So unfortunately, so we're actually at a plus 16% modifier because this is not including negative 30 from Black Monday. Actually, Black Monday is only a negative 10% modifier. It's not including the negative 30 for being a civilian economy. But we are actually almost to the point that we can switch this around, go up to early mobilization. 5% less consumer factories. How much faster is construction? It's a 20% uh, speed increase, which is pretty nice. You guys are now having your own civil war. Did the Carlos not rise up? I guess not. They might still do so. Um, and the Austrians declared war in Hungary. Things are popping off. I think we do want to support the Hungarians. Of course, I'm not sending troops in. Uh, that would be insane. Uh, but I do want them to do as much damage to the Austrians as possible. Because we can't, we can't join the Austrian faction anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Congress of Belgrade. Serbia has invited us to send a diplomat to Belgrade to take part in the Belgrade Conference so that we may discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans. Since the victory of Bulgaria in the Wildkrieg, it has been, uh, we've had our eye on the land as rightfully ours as the Serbia. Yeah, of course, we will announce our support. Bulgaria doesn't like us, but that is fine. And hopefully Romania will join as well. I don't know. Yeah, they did join. I just don't know if it's guaranteed that they join or not. Together against Bulgaria. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, we do not want to leave the Belgrade Pact. And honestly, I don't know if we ever do. We might just want to stay in for 
the long haul. At least until we defeat the Ottomans. At, at that point, maybe our, our mind will change. We'll see. Uh, I don't believe it's the industrial capacity to really deal with building tanks at the moment. And I'm kind of thinking of researching these basic infantry stuff now. I know it's like super ahead of time. But I don't want to use our... It's, how, how much? What is the penalty? 117%? It is 50 days longer than normal. You know what? I'm going to do it. i get both of these done. Because once we get all of our 100% modifiers from upgrading superior firepower and getting those extra free military factories, I don't want to spend that researching... The, the, the kind of trash that we have. We want to use it to upgrade an actual rifle model. Oh, there are the Carlists have risen up. Okay, so... See how that works for everybody. The Russians are... They could have gone for the Soviets, right? No, the Russian tree has changed again since we did the Soviet Union campaign. And that wasn't even that long ago. Right? Like, that was only... Like, January, right? I guess they've updated it twice. So they can't actually... Uh, become the Soviet Union. At least not anytime soon. But with 107 political power, what are we going to do? We are, of course, going to go up to early mobilization. Increase our construction speed significantly. So instead of being done in September, December, now done in October. Which is... A pretty big difference, I would say. So Hungary, doing pretty poorly in their little war. Not a surprise at all. Like, I'm sure the player could probably win that war. The problem with Hungary is that they just don't have, like, a focus tree, which is still really depressing. That it's been, what, four years now in uh, Kaiserreich and they still don't have any tree? Again, Bhutan has a tree. Bhutan actually is a pretty extensive tree. I mean, relative to the size of... Like, has anything ever happened in Bhutan? I do not believe so. Can they actually do anything? Bhutan. Nathan Dynasty. Like, can you actually declare war on anybody or join any faction? I don't believe so. Like, you can get some fortresses, but, like, I don't believe anybody can actually... ...attack you? And you can't attack anybody without doing the actual manual justification. That's a little bit strange, uh, I would say. That crisis has been resolved. How did it get resolved? Was it just like the, the peaceful route? The answer is no. It's actually gone to enemy on all sides. So Switzerland is going to be going for some... Uh, the national populist. They're going to do greater Serbia. By the way, we should probably be looking at what Serbia is doing. Work together to strengthen Serbia. And you are sending an ultimatum. Like, we could also just declare war on the uh, Bulgarians if we were to immediately go for the Battle of Macedonia. So we just immediately declare war on uh, Bulgaria, which would bring in the entirety of the Belgrade Pact. Or we let Serbia do it instead of us, which also seems like a good idea. I'm assuming Bulgaria gets a notification if this is happening that war is inevitable. Again, it is theoretically possible that the Bulgarians just give up without a fight. As we saw in our uh, Serbia campaign, which is exactly what they did, they're just like, okay, here you go. Just have the territory. And I'm not necessarily against that. I mean, actually, you know what? I am against that course of action because I do want this territory to at least have a border with the Ottomans. So we're going to probably try to take, let's say, these three states. Serbia will take whatever they want to take. The Cairo Pact is beginning to form. I 
Mexico War and Peru have ended hostilities. I'm assuming Peru has probably won the war. The answer is like, no, they didn't actually. They, they did lose, which is embarrassing for them. We can have 800 airplanes there. Not bad. Uh, we will build, say, 200. 200 is fine. Probably not send them out quite yet because I don't think it's uh, necessary. But a full recovery is almost done. As soon as this is ready, I'm excited to see how much faster you're going to build. Because you're getting... What, what is this, what's this going to give us? It is going to give us... More civilian factories, a 10% construction speed boost. Uh, we're going to be building more stuff out of our uh, factories. Overall, pretty solid. Also, to recover from a massive economic depression in only a year. Also pretty impressive. We have two days until you are done. But then this is also going to take, what? Two, four... Also like eight months-ish. Yeah, cause these elections are not going to be happening anytime soon. So we definitely have enough time to do this. We don't want... I don't I don't want the land forts. I don't want to be wasting any time doing those focuses. So we're going to increase our military. We're going to go up to partial mobilization. And now our construction speed on this factory is now going to be the 5th of September, saving almost an entire month, which I think is pretty solid. That's right now, consumer goods is at 30%. We would be a little bit better if Germany wasn't sanctioning us. Uh, we still got about two... Please do not scroll up. We still got about two years until those sanctions are actually over. United Provinces of China for the Hunan clique. So they've allied with these guys. Okay. Does Shing have an alliance? The answer is no. They kind of just want to clear war on everybody. Which is understandable. Bulgaria is going to ban some Turkish political parties. You are doing the ultimatum. When is that a full 70-day focus? Oh, no, it's only a 27-day focus. So the war is coming sooner than I would have thought. Um, do send at least one guy in each of these provinces, please, and thank you. I mean, it's like, I would like more men. You're 13,000 manpower, you're 13,000. We can get, like, one cavalry division out. But probably that's not what we're looking for. I mean, like, there is still... Theoretically, a chance that we lose against Bulgaria. I don't think it would happen. But the possibility is there. Like, this is a pretty heavily defended uh, border on Bulgaria. I'm not a fan of. You're not going to give us any direct benefit. I mean, we still have to wait until we at least can invest in armaments. Until we can see any direct benefit. Three military factories is lovely. So Panama was annexed by the Canadians. Yeah, so in about two weeks. Two weeks and we will be at war. Nothing too crazy happening here. The American Union State is doing fantastic work. The point where I can, I feel like I can guarantee, not guarantee uh, per se, but American Union State victory seems extremely likely. Especially since I think the United States is about to capitulate, like, any moment now. I mean, they have Richmond, but... I don't think that's going to help them. I think it's... Yeah, there it goes. The federal, the federal government has collapsed. American Union State now in a two-front war. I can't see the CSA actually winning this. Okay, we did lose a bit of a construction bonus. But that actually only delayed things by two days. Not bad at all. So we have... 
Not gonna be tomorrow, right? No, two more days. One more day. Will Bulgaria say yes to the ultimatum? Again, it's not impossible. 5,000 manpower, 100 political power, uh, political power. We could technically just leave the Belgrade Pact right now. But of course, we're gonna go to extensive conscription. I want Romania to join the war first. Fourth Balkan War has begun. They have joined now. And we'll wait for this cavalry division to move. And now I am willing to join your war. Why? Do not go there. Um, so what is our plan? One is to send aircraft over here. Have some air superiority in this region. The Pact at War. Now we are at war, we stand shoulder to shoulder with Serbia. Greece will receive default major status in the world. Okay, I assume that is good for us then. Or maybe it's not, I really don't know. What level fort is this, by the way? Is it like a level... Please, game, let me click on this province. It is a level 2 fort, so that's a negative 30% penalty against us. Not fantastic. How much manpower does Bulgaria have? Uh, a lot. A lot more than we do. So... We'll be having some potential problems here. I think all of these, these areas have... Please let me click. You don't, but you are in the mountains. Which does present its own problems. We do have three civilian factories, or free military factories, so we are going to put a little bit more into our, um... Civilian, or into our, um, weapons here. Oh, wait, we're at war about Albania? Oh, wait, I did not know that. It's like, again, I knew it was possible, but I didn't know it was already happening. Are our troops, like, kind of bad? We do have air speed. We... Negative six percent or negative three percent because of air superiority. Honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. The race of Sophia. We only have t 22 days. It's like that really isn't that long of a time. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. If you not enjoy, you can always send them down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.